What's good, YouTube? I'm coming back at y'all with another rant, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming at y'all with five more things, send us hate in 2K23 or any 2K in general. We're gonna hop right into this with the first thing that all my fellow sinners, we hate this so much, man. We hate this so much. We get zero praise. I swear to God, we get no praise, bro. Sinners get no praise. They get no credit. They get no nothing you know what i'm saying we could have the best game of our lives we could be carrying in the park carrying in the stage carrying in the rap it don't matter we don't get no praise if you don't believe me you can pop out to my streams i be balling out i be balling out especially when i play rap i be going crazy you know what i'm saying 2020 10 assists triple double uh five five uh five blocks about three steals you know i be going crazy if, in that same game at the end of the game if i make one mistake I get criticized like I'm the worst player in the world, but when I'm doing everything good, I don't get no praise. The centers don't get no praise, bro. I swear, and everybody else says it too, so I know it's not. I know it's not false, cause all my other fellow centers, all my other fellow centers, they say the same thing, bro. We get no praise. It don't matter how good we play. It don't matter how much we carry our guards, carry our locks, help our locks on defense. I help my lock out so much on defense, especially since my center's got high speed. So when they begin, you know what I'm saying, body by the guard or, or, or they need help getting through the screens and all that, I be, I be, I be, help, I be holding their hand. Holding their hand. You know what I'm saying? The second thing, centers hate in 2K. Games are always blamed on us. Once again, you could be having the best game ever. You made one mistake that doesn't even correlate towards the end of the game or doesn't correlate towards, you know, the game being decided on that one mistake. Or you could not make no mistakes at all. And they're still going to blame us. They're going to blame us because the guards and the locks don't never want to hold responsibility in 2K. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm, I know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't want to hold responsibility, so they always want to throw it onto the center. It's always the center's fault when the team loses. I swear it's always the center's fault. See, me personally, I always ball out. I don't never be selling. So can nobody sit here and tell me straight up that the game was on me because I know I did my part. Every time I'm playing this year, this year specifically, every single one of my guards always sell me. It's always my guards, bro. Always the guards. The guards is mid this year. I'm going to be honest. Y'all point guards out here, y'all real mid out here. I, I'm gonna be honest. Even the six nines, y'all real mid out here. The only times I can't check a six for nines if I'm delayed. If I'm not delayed, I got good connection, good, good, all of that. You're locked. You're boxed. You're not doing nothing. You're not doing nothing to me. And I'm a center. You know what I'm saying? The third thing that all centers hate in 2K, when the guards and the lockdowns claim that they can play center better than the center, huh? They always want to say, you know, it's always when you're arguing, especially. You always want to say. I, you know, I hop in my center right now and I dog you out. I'm way better than you at center. You're not even good. Come on, bro. All of us centers out here, most of us who play center, who truly play center, I ain't talking about people who try to play center on the side for fun. No, I'm talking about the true centers. The ones who only play center, only got center bills, no other bills, no guards, no locks. I'm talking about the people who only play center, you know what I'm saying? You cannot be possibly better than us in our position just because you also have a center. If you're playing on a point guard, you're playing on the lockdown, you're playing on the center, you're not going to be excellent at no build. You're not going to be excellent at no position. Because you're practicing on so many different positions, you're doing all these different things, you're not putting 100% of the time into one position. You feel what I'm saying? Us as a center, we're always putting 100% of our time of practice into being center, being a better center. We're not practicing guard, we're not practicing lockdown. If you're practicing three positions compared to one, you're not going to be excellent at no position. I don't know why people don't understand that. I don't know why people make multiple bills. I understand you probably just want to play for fun. That's cool. But don't sit here and say you're going to play my position better than me when all I play is center. All I do is study the center. All I do is practice the center. You know what I'm saying? That's all I do. You can't be possibly better than me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I'll see if I was a mid center. Like me personally, I'll see if I wasn't that good. I'll see if I was mid. Then I'll understand. You know what I'm saying? But no. Me, somebody who play like somebody like me who plays the way I do, and you saying you better than me? Man, get out of here, man. The fourth thing, people always saying center is the easiest position. If it's so easy, why can't everybody do it? If it's so easy, why can't everybody do it? Because I'm gonna be honest, every time I play power forward in the wreck, which I don't do no more because I don't trust no other centers on my team while I'm playing the power forward on my 6-9. I'm not doing that no more, that's dead. If I'm gonna play wreck, I'm always gonna be the five. I'm never playing the four again. But every time I play the four and I watch these other centers out here, they be not knowing what they doing. 
they need to come watch my videos they need to come watch my live stream so they can see what how to really work the center position you know what i'm saying they need to get some tips and tricks from your boy lavar you feel me because they don't be knowing what they doing they be getting snagged on they be it be it be, it be jumping at the wrong times like I jump, but I jump at the right times. This is the game where you have to jump. In case you didn't, don't, don't, you don't already know that. This is the game where you have to jump on defense in the paint. But you have to time at the right time. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it at the right time. You got to basically, you got to gamble that shit. But they always say center's the easiest position. Like, bro, if anything in this game, lockdown's the easiest position. All you got to do is play defense and, 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 and hit your open shots. That's it. And defense is easy. Like I said, me as a center, I can lock up the guards in this game. So if I can lock up the guards, lockdowns should be able to lock up the guards, right? So that should be easy to them. And then shooting, you shooting wide open. That's all you got to do. Same for the centers. If we're shooting, if we're shooting center, we're shooting wide open. If we're not shooting center, or if we're setting picks, we gotta do, we gotta do pick and roll. We gotta, we gotta roll properly. We gotta pop properly. We gotta rebound properly. We gotta get in position properly. Center is not the easiest position, in my opinion. It's the lockdown position. If you want to have a debate about it, we can have a debate about it. Leave a comment. Let me know your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Cause we can talk about it. I like talking about this stuff, this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And the last thing that centers hate, me and my fellow centers despise this. Y'all motherfuckers expect us to get 30 rebounds and 10 blocks if we don't have that amount then we didn't do good bro first of all the only time you're going to get 30 rebounds is if the other team is breaking a good amount and, the, uh, and your team is breaking a good amount most times my team is not breaking that much but when they do i'm getting offensive rebounds okay oftentimes if we're playing bums okay i'll probably get around a decent amount of rebounds probably between 15 and 25 you know what i'm saying but 30 you have to literally play constant teams who are missing a ton of shots you know what i'm saying less turnovers more missed shots that's literally how rebounds work you're not going to get 30 40 50 rebounds a game if people aren't missing enough if people were missing enough then i would get that because once again at me as a center i don't get snagged on i don't get snagged on ever you know what i'm saying so and that's for the blocks. Y'all should know damn well in this game. Blocks is literally difficult. It's not easy like it once was. Everybody has to adjust for blocks to get more blocks in this game. If you think we're going to get 10, 11 blocks per game, every game, if you think we're going to get 6, 7 blocks a game, that's literally not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. If we get 3 blocks, that's literally fine. If we get 2, that's fine. As long as we're getting contests, which is also difficult because a lot of times the contests and the paint literally does not matter. So... That's, that's that's the last thing you know what i'm saying hey if you got any more things as a center that we hate in 2k let me know in the comments and i'm gonna respond you know what i'm saying i'm gonna respond to all my comments make sure you hit that like button for me man hit that sub button turn on the post notifications make sure you turn it on so you catch all my new videos make sure you catch my slide my live streams you know what i'm saying i go live every day you know what i'm saying whenever i'm home i go live i'll see you in the next video man i hope you like the video